Presidents are elected every four years in this country, and halfway through each term comes the midterm elections. What that means is in the U.S. House of Representatives, all 435 seats are up for grabs, and about a third of the 100 seats in the U.S. Senate are, too. Right now, the Republicans are in charge of both chambers, and there are a lot of complicated equations about how the Democrats might be able to take back control in one or both of them. But here's all you really need to know. On the House side, if the Democrats can flip 23 seats in their favor, they would take charge. And on the Senate side, if they could net two more seats, they would be in charge there too. But the Democrats are defending so many of their own on that side, the math seems pretty challenging. Midterms are seen as referendums on the president, and this one has been particularly polarizing. So watch for potential flips in areas where Democrats are up in arms, where Republicans have weak majorities, and importantly, where independents are frustrated with the White House. But if enough seats flip, big changes could follow. Start with legislation on the House side. Republican hopes for new immigration laws or trade deals or welfare reform or Social Security reform or even new tax laws could all come to a stop dependent on Democratic support to get them going again. And if by chance the Democrats could flip the Senate, that could play havoc with the administration's plans for stacking the judiciary. Right now, the Trump administration has been marching conservative justices onto benches across this country, but from the Supreme Court on down, that could come to a screeching halt unless they were willing to make them more moderate voices that Democrats could support. Of course, the president could have much bigger problems if the Democrats seize either chamber, they could reinvigorate all sorts of investigations into him and his cabinet, subpoenaing witnesses, compelling testimony into allegations of election meddling and of conflicts of interest and possible misuse of tax money, sexual improprieties, controversial policies, and so much more. They may not be able to prove anything, just like they might turn to the bigger question of impeachment and not be able to prove anything there or get a conviction, but they could make it very humiliating and time-consuming for the president. And these elections could determine whether any or all of that comes to pass.